bad news for the people of Stardew Valley. There's no longer such thing as a locked door. All we need to do is kill a few of these. And a few more. And one more. Two more. Three more. There we have it. One lockpick. This single lockpick has the potential to get us through any locked door in existence. But since it's already 8am, everyone's already going to be waking up and starting their morning routine. Some doors are already open, so we're going to save this for tomorrow morning and find people first thing. Nothing like a little rain and thunder to conceal my movement. You know what? I've always wondered what Gus does first thing in the morning. He's always up so late working. So if we hold the lockpick, try and make it through the door, it broke. Well, I guess let's go kill more green slimes then. Or alternatively, we have lots of lockpicks now. There is a percentage of getting through the door. I can't remember what it is. I think one in five actually works. And we're through. All right, let's go see if Gus is awake yet. And if he's not, let's wake him up and get some thoughts. Oh, maybe he just doesn't sleep. You're not good enough friends with Gus to enter his bedroom. Well, the lockpick won't get me through his door. Luckily, I have other mods for that. Good morning, Gus. How are you this morning? Hey, you look like you could use a beverage. That's amazing. He just never switches off. Even first thing in the morning when he's staring at the wall. I think there's something wrong with him. He's probably supposed to be staring at the TV, but he's just kind of enjoying himself. You know what? We've learned before that we need 10 hearts with everyone to actually get them to tell us anything useful. So we're going to move up to 10 hearts. Everyone that we've actually met, we are still missing quite a few people. But I can't wait to see what kind of secrets we dig up. Again, we're going to skip it on to tomorrow. I want to catch people first thing in the morning. Tomorrow, I think we probably want to try Pierre and Caroline. Maybe Caroline doesn't even sleep in Pierre's bed anymore. Maybe she just bunks up with the wizard. And we're in. We get a heart event, but we don't need to see that. Wow, Pierre's actually standing behind the desk first thing in the morning. Trouble in the bedroom? Ah, we already knew that. I guess it is pretty hard to compare with the wizard's magic. Why are you not in bed? Does nobody sleep? It's a fine looking day. Fine looking day for stalking NPCs, maybe. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. Well, that's a pretty convenient cover story. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Well, she is 100, so that's not saying much. Finally, someone who actually likes to sleep. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to wait here. Could you move over just a touch? I don't have enough room. Fortunately for her, I have met Abigail. That probably makes this not much less weird, but at least she does know who it is that's in her bed. Can't tell if she never blinks or just sleeps with her eyes open. She also doesn't have any dialogue. I guess I wouldn't have anything to say either if some strange person came and slept in my bed with me. Now you get out of bed. I'm sorry, but you had your chance to be interesting. You know what, Pam? We'll come and see you in the morning. I'm surprised her door is even locked. Who would actually really ever break into Pam's trailer? That seems like an unwise idea. I got through it in the first try. As thunder strikes, this place is a bit of a mess. And I couldn't possibly imagine what's possibly transpired in here. Pam, good morning. No one seems to have any dialogue first thing in the morning. It's too early for them. So, uh, I brought you a dandelion. Thank you. This looks special. You're welcome. It's growing on the floor, probably out of all the garbage. And Pam, well, she can have a mushroom. There you go. Thanks, kid. You're welcome, Shrek. I think some of them probably aren't saying anything because I'm basically getting heart events every time I go into a house because I've moved them all up to 10 hearts. This house has lots of people, though. We're sure to get a heart event. But if we get them all out of the way today and try it again tomorrow, we'll hopefully get some better dialogue. Alright, boring people, let's try this again. It only took two tries to get through your door. Good morning. Why does no one sleep? My youngest boy really hates Clay. I guess everyone has their hangups. No one told you? He thinks your name is Clay. That man standing in your living room said you really like this stuff. Yuck, what is this? It's breakfast. Eat it. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Trust me, you really don't. It's kind of funny how nobody cares that I find my way into the rooms first thing in the morning. I guess by now though, they're kind of used to it. I really like how your bed is set up, that way I can come to this side and talk to you in your face. I like taking walks in the forest this time of year, the temperature is so comfortable. You ever stop by and see the wizard while you're there? Cause he seems to like visitors. I notice you're only using up half the pillow. I'm taking that as an invitation. Your kids are weird. Maintaining a household is difficult work, but somebody has to do it. Have you been here since I walked in this morning? I don't remember. Well, who in this town is likely to have a secret? Something they could be doing overnight. Mayor Lewis does have a night where he goes to bed in Marnie's bed, but I think he wakes up in his own, but we could actually put that to the test. Before we get to that, I want to try the carpenter shop because we have one known vampire there and a bunch of people with a bunch of possibilities. I would use my lockpick on Linus's door, but he doesn't exactly have a door. 
All right, people, I'm coming in. First try. Nice. Right, and we get a million heart events, so we'll try this again tomorrow. Second try this morning. Is everyone where they're supposed to be? Those two are actually in bed together. It's so strange to see people actually sleeping first thing in the morning. Conveniently, Sebastian's in bed. We had a heart event, so he has nothing to say, and that's all right, because he's generally not super interesting. Could you move over just a touch? Hi, DF. I'm always glad when you come for a visit. So is your wife. It's nice to have some company after some lonely lab work. Or are you doing lab work overnight? Uh, Demetrius? Robin seems to be broken. She has no dialogue. Oh, well, there we go. Thank you. We did want some privacy. Oh, well, that's awfully generous of you. Hello, Robin. Oh, never mind. I didn't get a chance to talk to you, but what your mom did was entertaining in itself. If you have any extra metal lying around, I could always use it for one of my projects. I mean, I seem to have one of these in my inventory. Feel free to melt that down and make it into something useful. Do you know what day it is that Lewis has a sleepover with Marnie? Fall the 9th. What day is it today? Fall the 11th. I missed it by two days, so guess what we're gonna do? A lot of sleeping. Today, if you don't know, is the magical one day of the year when Mayor Lewis does not sleep in his own bed. He comes over to Marnie's, stays there for the remainder of the day, and goes to bed at night. I want to see where he actually wakes up. So part two of this strategy, or waiting. Lewis has already arrived, and he's taking no time in getting all the way into Marnie's room. Hi Lewis, how are you? It was around this time of the year when I first became mayor over 20 years ago. That makes me feel really old. That's the confident bedroom talk everyone likes to hear. And he left. Maybe I broke the schedule by skipping time. Although I do believe he will return later on, I'm just not sure if I've skipped too much time and that's not going to work. Is a lockpick work on this door? It's locked. Yeah, but I have a lockpick. Instead of waiting forever, let's go see if we can find where Mary Lewis currently is. I unfortunately might have to restart the day and just wait for the whole thing to pass by to actually get Mary Lewis to where he's supposed to go. He's not at his house, and he's not at the saloon. If I'm remembering correctly, I believe he goes to Harvey's clinic between going back to Marnie's. And he's actually here. Uh, Lewis? It's 9 p.m. and neither you or Marnie are getting any younger. You might want to take advantage while you still can. Well, I've clearly broken this day, so let's start this whole process again. 6.10 a.m. We might as well let ourselves in now and then we'll just sit there and wait for Lewis, which is going to take something like 10, 12 minutes before the door is actually locked again. There was unfortunately a heart event, so we can't see anyone's dialogue, but we are in 6.30 in the morning. Everyone is standing in their usual spots. Nothing of interest there. A little after 7 p.m., Mayor Lewis has arrived. He is currently enjoying the microwave. And Marnie is so perceptive that she can see me look into her garbage can all the way from there. Lewis is on the move. Marnie's already gone to bed. Lewis, not far behind, 9 p.m. because they're old. They waste no time becoming one and they even leave room for me. Now, they remain exactly in this position until at least 2 a.m. when I pass out. In the morning, I want to see where Lewis is. I've never had the opportunity to go into either person's house first thing in the morning. I'm gonna wait here just in case to make sure nothing odd happens. I need to make sure they're both here until 2 a.m. Just about 2 a.m. Can confirm Mayor Lewis is still in Marnie's bed. He may still be in Marnie. All right, first thing in the morning, we need to go straight to Lewis's house and then we'll try Marnie's right away. Uh, warp location, saloon, without missing any time at all, 6 a.m. Lockpick is out. First try and he's here again. He's already up which is impressive considering his age. Hi there, DF. Taking a break? I was mostly coming to see if you'd left Marnie's yet. I hope the river doesn't overflow. Yeah, that must be what has you up so early. You know what? I was really hoping Mayor Lewis would be at Marnie's first thing in the morning or somewhere doing something odd. Well, I do have one last thing to try. And that, of course, is the Joji Mart, which isn't normally open until 9am. If anyone is really going to be doing anything shady, it's probably going to be the Joji Mart. And it's business as usual. Well, at least there's no frozen people in the freezer today. Does Willie ever actually use that room he has? Oh, he's already on the way out. You're up nice and early. Good morning. If I got here 10 minutes earlier, were you climbing down a ladder from your little cubby? Now I really just want to see exactly where he comes from. I gotta be quick about it this time. Uh, lock pick out. I think I already screwed that up a bit. Nope, he's actually just standing there at 6 a.m. That's weird. Well, that about confirms it in my eyes. The NPCs aren't programmed to do anything weird before their normal schedule. I was really hoping I might find some easter egg or something somewhere of someone just doing something odd, but it just doesn't seem like they're programmed that way. 
like always, was worth a try. Link to the mod in the description. Blah, blah, blah.